Hi guys, welcome back. In today's video, I have another um, reveal for the Spooky School Swap. This one comes from Ada. I am so sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Um, I can't remember her... Um, her Instagram account name at the moment, but hopefully um, her it should say inside here. So she did make one for me, and then she made two to swap, and they all looked like this in the box. How cute is this? This is so cool. It looks like she maybe made this from like a cardboard box, and that is so cool. So um, I was trying this angle. I don't. I think I like it. <laughs> I wanted to be able to stand it up. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and untie this. Um, so let's see. Of course, I have like no nails, so this part is the struggle. I know that there are more of these swaps starting to roll in, so I am so excited to see what everyone's made. I always wait until after I reveal videos or reveal um, swaps before I go and watch their um, video that they make to share or Instagram posts. I try not to get too many sneak peeks um, just because I think it's fun to have like my real and honest reaction. Okay, we got that off and we got this cute little handle and it looks like it's just a box here so I'm going to, oh I opened it the wrong way. So it opens this way because look at the inside. Look how cute. So we got the De Las, De Las Muertos, I'm sorry. I not good at pronouncing um so she's got whoop, <laughs> a couple of tags here i'm gonna change the angle so i'm not um messing anything up okay so we have this tag here that was in one of the little slots this is so cute and then we have this tag here with the glitter backing so Cute. such a great idea I'm trying to keep things from falling out on this side so we have this side here oh it's a magnetic closure too that's so cool okay so she does have a shelf in here but I'm gonna pull this card out first and then we will do the rest okay we're just gonna have some pom-poms hanging out here okay so we have this envelope inside. Oh, look how cute this is. Do you use like a Cricut or a Silhouette to get these shapes? Oh, I got her return shipping. It's totally fine that it's not like traditional Halloween. I think um, the De Las Muertos theme kind of fits right along with it, you know? Um, and I think that's fun. It, it's fun that everybody does a different theme. Um, so I'm just going to pull some of this out here so we can reach in. I just don't want to mess anything up here. I see something here. I'm just going to pull everything off this top shelf. She even has some pattern paper in the background and then this cool like doily piece that she's lined this shelf with. So she's given a cute little bundle of bones. Love these little bones. And then we have this fun piece. Is this, I think it's just a die cut. Making sure it's not like a sticker. No, this is layered up though. I can see her layers and she's, um, it looks like maybe this was cut from a Cricut. That is so, so neat. I love that. Very cool. Put that there. Okay, and then we have this here. Did you? Okay, this looks like it's like a notebook. So we've got this little design. There's glitter here. 
oh my goodness this is like a handmade book how cool is that i love that that takes so much time getting all those pages put together and there's so many it's nice and thick how cute thank you i will definitely be using that that's such a cute idea i'm gonna pull some of the stuffing out let's just set that aside so next it looks like we have a backpack how cute so we've got let's close it up real quick so we can look at it so there's like stitching marks all around the backpack we get this cute um, image here a little pocket it's even got the straps and i'm loving the colors that you used so cute and make sure yep it looks like there's a little something in this front pocket and a couple little die cuts it looks like there we go very cute okay so look at these we've got this cute little girl here and then we have a couple of sugar skulls that is so fun i love it i'm gonna leave those out so i don't forget that they're there and then inside this backpack it's so cute i love it okay looks like we have a bag topper here how cute is this girl i love sugar schools i think they're so neat very cute Oh, and she's even sent a little gifty look at it. how cute is that a little ghost kitty that's adorable thank you so much i cannot wait to play with that i will definitely be cutting that out today so we have another bag topper here i'm not going to try to pronounce it again because i'm just <laughs> you are welcome to correct me dia de no i'm not i i I um, only was in Spanish for like seventh grade and that was a long, long time ago. So we have a few of those in these different colors. So colorful and fun. Keep everything together. Okay. And then we've also got this little book box here. How cute is that? The pretty sparkly paper. This adorable sugar skull and these little ones down here and then the ribbon that holds it together that ribbon is so pretty and in here we have some rolled flowers we also have a thing here i'll read in one moment but she's made us a few rolled flowers look at how pretty those are in the perfect shade of orange so pretty. I love the look of roll, rolled flowers. They're just so, so pretty. This box is so cute. So here it says, throughout the day of the dead, Dia de los Muertos, celebrations, countless strands of marigold garlands decorate altars, homes, and gravestones. Their vivid hues and strong fragrance are believed to guide the souls of the departed back to the world of the living. Each strand of these garlands carries a powerful symbolism, merging the world of the living and the dead in a beautiful blooming bridge. That is so cute. So these are like the the, the marigolds um, that represent that. I love that you added a little message to go along with it and kind of um, teach us a little bit about more about it because I honestly don't know anything really. Um, so that's really cool thank you so next here we have this really cute pen look at how cute it's like wrapped in yarn Ooh, even the lid that is so creative did you make this that's so cute so it's just wrapped and then we got this pom-pom with the skull and it's got like kitty ears at the top and then we have this cute little bow and I just love that. That's so fun. How cute is that? And then she's also made a memory decks card. 
Look at how cool this coffin. There's like the crocheted, just like she did on the locker. It's got the like crocheted chain around the edges. We've got these scallops, the rhinestones on some of it, all the glitter. So, so pretty. Um, okay, she does have an address on here. So she put Spooky School Swap hosted by me, B Northway Designs. Um, the due date September 27th. And here is her information. So Adams underscore Ada, Ada, please let me know the, pro pro the correct way to pronounce that because I don't like saying people's names wrong. I don't like saying names wrong, so I always feel bad. But anyways, she just had a birthday, August 8th. Favorite holiday is Halloween and her favorite colors are brown and green. Very cute, and look at these cute little sequin clusters she's added to the back. That is so cute. I love that. Adorable. And um, I'm going to pull, I know I put these back in here, but I actually wanted to pull them out so we can, I can show what it looks like when it's empty. There's a few pom-poms there. Okay, look at how neat this is. The paper in the background. So I'm guessing you used a... A digital collection and it is so cool I love how colorful this theme is and this is just so neat that is amazing Ada thank you so much for joining my swap and thank you for making one for me I really appreciate it it's so fun receiving swaps from you guys I just love it so much um, so that is everything I have to share with you today, but stay tuned because more are coming. And until next time, happy crafting!